So here we enter into von Balthasar, Hans Urs von Balthasar, who he is, uh, his some of his uh, contributions to uh, the understanding of beauty, the theology of beauty, um, and so forth. So here's kind of a uh, a background of Hans Urs von Balthasar, and uh, then we'll enter into his understanding of theological beauty and so forth. Hans Urs von Balthasar is the most formidable theologian um, in, in the research of, of this paper, excepting maybe uh, Luther. He was a Swiss theologian, Catholic priest, and he was a mystic who lived from 1905 to 1988. So he is a recent um, uh, theologian in regards to beauty and its theological principle, the theological principle in beauty. He's considered a giant in the field of Christian, Christian aesthetics, and his theological and philosophical works centered on beauty are dense and plentiful. Several of his publications proved important to, uh, to beauty in and of itself, and the understanding of it theologically. Uh, there are also secondary reading, as as I read in the past chapter or in the past section, uh, was was also used to demonstrate how von Balthasar's approach and influence continues to shape the church today. Von Balthasar would write extensively to refute even his Protestant friend Karl Barth. Most of von Balthasar's understanding of Protestant aesthetics and spirituality would come from his friendship with Barth, um, which would lead him to allude to Martin Luther as a, prom, as, as a Protestant, yet rarely directed, uh, directly took up an aesthetic argument with Luther himself, mostly because Luther rarely taught on the aesthetics uh, and beauty. It is also worthy of note that in 1972, Balthazar co-founded the Catholic journal uh, Communio with his uh, French theologian friend, Henry uh, de Lubac, and Joseph Ratzinger, who would become Pope Benedict. Von Balthasar offered a fascinating perspective on many aspects of beauty as it pertains to God and human perception. It is worth noting that the word perception itself revolves around the God-given ability to see, hear, and become aware through the senses, and uh, with an additional meaning of gaining understanding or interpretation through the mental impression, again, through sensory means. Von Balthasar was so proficient in music, that is, the, that is hearing, that he considered becoming a concert pianist, yet found himself drawn to the priesthood. This love of music and his natural ability to return, or excuse me, to retain musical works from an early age formed his understanding of the world. This would, in turn, shape his theology for the future as it embraced beauty of music as well as philosophy and ling linguistics. Hans Jürs von Balthasar was real, well read, innovative in a scholarly realm of aesthetics and beauty. Lutheran theologians can benefit, most certainly, considering his views on beauty, elegance, and goodness particularly as he views them through good works, brought out from salvation through being justified through Christ, as Lutherans confess. While pulling from Balthazar's corpus of works, uh, we will find numerous ways to uh, explain and measure beauty. Um, in particular, a Lutheran theologian, uh, Mark Mattis, he's quite helpful when, when he points out uh, in the later half of the century, 
Theologians such as von Balthasar and other theologians who sought to recover beauty in response um, in response to modern and postmodern thinking that focuses on epistemology, the conditions for knowing can be met. Drawing from his Roman Catholic bath background, von Balthasar holds to the understanding that if theological aesthetics are about one single attribute, then they are about beauty. And if beauty is about one single attribute, then it is about love. This culminates regarding form because the incarnate Christ is the archetype of all forms who frees and expresses love perfectly while illuminating creation and revealing God. Von Balthasar emphasizes that beauty in creation is a reflection of God's love and the craft and wisdom with which he made it. Further, the Holy Incarnation of the Son of God authenticates this to an unimaginable degree. Christ reveals God, and in so doing, Christ reveals beauty, even as he embodies it, and his love embodies the church, his bride. Hans Jürs von Balthasar's topic of theological, uh, theological aesthetics in this term is unsurpassed. Von Balthasar, as a Roman Catholic preach, priest, uh, focused on the understanding of beauty and what Christ and what beauty teaches Christ's people by pointing out uh, the three great words: beauty, truth, and goodness. And this is nothing new to Saint uh, Saint Augustine, Saint Aquinas, even Luther himself. These three points or these three great words from Von Balthasar understanding of the transcendental while important have their roots in the reformation with martin luther and the high middle age theologians uh, mark mattis writes many theologians of the high middle ages sought to establish being goodness and truth and beauty adding an additional word to the great words uh, though it's adding being uh, can be argued whether it's helpful or not when, it, when added to the three great words, meaning that all reality somehow is structured by these categories. To clarify, for medieval thinkers, beauty is a name for God. Um, for example, Augustine, so ancient and so new, um, just like goodness. Of course, von Balthasar was influenced by Augustine, Aquinas, and, believe it or not, Luther and other theologians and philosophers. His understanding of transcendentals was not a mixture of European and American Romanticism, as um, we understand trans, uh, transcendence um, in the sense of, uh, uh, of the European and American Romanticism. Rather, Van, Von Balthasar sought to bring theology of beauty back to the Roman Catholic Church. Von Balthasar was generally able to simplify these great men brilliantly in what he called theological aesthetics, and much of his work was based on John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Thus he wrote, the three foundational tomes to provide that beauty must come from a transcendental source, Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. In the same line as the example given uh, of a boy who comes home and finds his mother uh, cooking, von Balthasar gives an even better answer to the question of the three great words that are beauty, truth, and goodness. An excerpt from his piece, A Resume of My Thoughts, says, Now man exists only in dialogue with his neighbor. The infant, the infant is brought to consciousness of himself only by love, by the smile of his mother. In that encounter, the horizon of all unlimited being opens itself for him, revealing four things to him. 
One, that he is one in love with his mother, even in being other than his mother, therefore all being is one. Two, that that love is good, therefore all being is good. That that love is true, therefore all being is true. And that that love invokes joy, therefore all being is beautiful. Uh, as already stated, von Balthasar was Roman Catholic. His emphasis on love was not necessarily always centered on justification by grace through faith. At the same time, the point is not lost that love, even as von Balthasar uses it, can, can indeed be focused um, and founded on Christ crucified and justification by grace through faith. Justification, after all, is about the supreme act of love in Christ's uh, crucifixion. Von Balthasar recapitulates the notion of love displayed on the cross of Christ, placing um, placing these two theologians to, together uh, in concert finds a clear finds a clear picture of Christ crucified uh, as a supreme act of love because the expression of this love is by the archetypal form the cross is beauty in its most terrifying and its most majestic the love of Christ in the gospel of St. John permeates through uh, through the Christian rising him to a level and ability to understand beauty. One cannot read of the love of Christ and not use his imagination to enhance his experiential reflections of beauty of the archetypal form. Even when unaware, the Christian senses from his birth the goodness of Christ and his neighbor, who is his mother, his brother, his wife, and so on and is able to sense the gospel that has been given to him in baptism. Truly, this enunciates the three great words. As these words are completely united with Christ and his means of grace, Mattis presents and says, Balthazar was deeply opposed to the separation of the beautiful from the true and the good. The idea of beauty, he lamented, has been reduced to that of a of merely this worldly aesthetics a baleful consequence for Christian faith and morals even so von Balthasar was deeply committed to the Bible and to the early church fathers Ignatius of Loyola uh, was one of the most significant influences on him as he formed into a more well-rounded priest. Even in his study, Ignatius, beauty, truth, and goodness always bubbled to the surface for, uh, for von Balthasar and his thinking regarding the divine. The Ignatian study of the discernment of spirits and his approach to spiritual life led to von Balthasar's traditional yet creative understanding of the spiritual senses and to its corporeal counterpart, the biological senses. Uh, one, again, one can, can gain much through von Balthasar's brilliant and thoughtful ideology of the beautiful, yet many of his ideas are hindered by his own mysticism, filtering those suppositions through Luther and the Lutheran Confession allows a more precise and more practical results. Uh, an edifying crossroad between Luther and von Balthasar that has edified our church, the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, hopefully, and could do likewise for other Lutheran bodies. And so we will look at Hans Jürgen von Balthasar and his uh, theology 
before uh, a systematic approach to him, particularly in uh, form.